Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen an important Thymlip attributes that we use while designing the forms in a Thymlip templates. Well, here are the important Thymlip attributes like th colon action, th colon object, and th colon field. th colon action attribute is used to define the action URL for the form, and this attribute replaces the HTML action attribute of the form. And th colon object attribute is used to bind the fields of the form to the model object and th colon field attribute points to the field name of the model object. Alright, we will understand more about these timely attributes in upcoming lectures. In this lecture, what we will do, we will create a handler method to handle user register request and in next lecture, we will design user registration form. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly create a handler method. So go to controller package, let's create a new controller. So right click new and then choose Java class and let's give class name as form controller perfect let's annotate this class with add controller annotation well whenever we annotate a class with add controller annotation then this class becomes a spring mvc controller and it is capable to handle http request next within this controller let's write a handle method to handle user register request so let me write the comment over here handler method to handle user registration page request okay perfect so let's type public and string is the return type of the method and let's give method name something like user registration page all right and let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to handle http get request and let's give url as a register okay perfect and let's pass a model as a parameter to this method all right great next here we need to create a model class object okay so let's first create a model class and then we'll come back to this handler method so here go to model package right click on it new and then choose java class and let's give class name as a user form next let's define the instance variables for this class so just type private and then string and then username and then private string user email and then private string password next private string and then gender private string address and then private boolean let's give married as a field name and then private string profession perfect now we have defined the instance variables for this user form class next let's go and let's create a getter setter methods so right click generate and choose getter and setter and select all the fields and click on ok now we have created getter setter methods for these instance variables next let's go back to our handler method so go to form controller well within this handler method let's create a empty user model object to store the form data so here let me write the comment empty user form model object to store form data well whenever user enter the data in the form and submit the form then that data will be stored in this user form model class object so here let's have a user form object first user form user form equal to new user form perfect now we have created empty object next let's add this object to the model so here we have model dot add attribute and let's give attribute name as user form and let's give attribute value as a actual user form object perfect next let's create a list of professions well in a user registration page we will create a selection box and we will populate the list of professions data for example if you can see the demo over here here we have profession and here we have a selection box and we need to populate this data in a selection box isn't it so in order to do that let's create a list over here so let's say list of type string and then let's call it as list 
profession and next let's use arrays utility class arrays dot as list method and just pass values like developer and then let's say tester and then architect perfect now we have created list profession next let's add this list profession to the model so let's call model dot add attribute method and let's give attribute name as list profession and let's give value as a actual list profession object perfect now we have added list profession to the model next we need to return the view so here let's have a return statement and then let's give view name something like register hyphen four perfect now we have created handler method to handle user registration page request and within this handler method we have created empty user model object to store the form data and then we have added this empty user model class object to the model and next we have created a list of operations and then we have added this list of operation to the model and then this handler method returns register hyphen form view name in next lecture we will create register hyphen form time lift template and then we will design user registration form all right great i will see you in the next lecture